Okay, so this is going to be more of a documentation style video. I'll come back in a year and see what else has changed. But I've been fucking around with this stuff uh, going on nine years now, now that I think about it. Uh, not anybody special. Don't want to give you that impression or anything. Just fucking idiot that likes to do some airsoft and play in the woods. Uh, I've used a wide multitude of gear ranging from Chinese made shit to some very fancy stuff like Haley and Onward Research and all of that, but I keep coming back to the bare basic shit. Um, and this video's purpose is to show my current two main setups. Um, I'm not going to go over the plate carrier right now. This is going to be the non-armored loadouts that I've been using. And uh, yeah, and we'll come back in a year and see uh, what's changed and all that. So uh, the first one I'm going to go over is my personal taps. Now, everybody knows what the taps is. It's just a panel. It has eight pockets, six mag, two radio. Uh, to start, the first thing that I did was I threw away that Y harness. It's a piece of fucking shit. And uh, I went and got a uh, H harness to go with it. So to prep it for the H harness, you cut the two center straps for the Y harness off. And then when you get your H harness, it comes with these buckles that will snap over your molly. You put it on the top and the bottom and it will ride so much better. The next thing I did was I took a, a pair of scissors and cut the uh, middle mag retention flaps off and I replaced them with bungees. I don't use these end pockets for much. Um, I'll get into that in a second, so I just left them as is, but I put mag retentions, uh, bungees along the, uh, the four front ones, and then I, I have a Kydex insert on the two sides, but just so you have an idea of what the basic platform looks like, and this one has been dyed, and what have you. With that being said, this is my personal one, as I've used it for the last three years or so. So, starting... Under my right arm, I keep my IFAC. Uh, I like the Army style IFAC pouch. It's big enough to hold what I want in it, including one tourniquet here. I do have a second tourniquet over here for both sides, uh, but it works for me. I feel like it's a little slicker, and I mean, I'm not gonna go spend a hundred fucking dollars on a on a IFAC pouch. I'm just not. It's stupid in my mind. Uh, next to the IFAC, I have a Eagle Industries smoke pouch. This will hold the, uh, this one is empty, but this will hold two of the Enola Gay burst smokes, which is currently on my other rig. I'm going to an FDX tomorrow, and uh, I have, obviously some of these pouches are empty because my stuff's on my other rig, which I'll cover in a minute. Uh, but this will hold two of the Enola Gay uh, bursts, the little uh, small ones. It will hold one of the 18 size ones. It will hold a tag-in smoke perfectly, one of the M18 ones, uh, as well as a number of other ones. Uh, that's available on eBay, not that much. I keep a Blue Force gear admin pouch on the front. This holds my notebooks and pens and small stuff like that. Tourniquet. Uh, obviously, this is a um, current issued OCP one. It completely covers the tourniquet. It's easy to open. You grab that, yank it down, the entire thing falls apart. Uh, I don't like my tourniquets being exposed because I don't want them to get dirty and pick up all that shit uh, or be exposed to sunlight and all that. I, I keep it clean. I keep it in close. I don't like the marine one because that, that elastic top wears loose. It comes off. I swapped over to the uh, OCP Molly 2 IFAC one. Now, when you get your uh, uh, Army issued IFACs, now they come with two of these, and I have that on, I have that IFAC mounted on my plate carrier. Uh, but I keep one of these on my chest rig, so I have two tourniquets: one, two, and then I have my standard uh, IFAC contents and all of that. I hate danglers. You're not going to catch me wearing them. They just get in the way and they piss me off. Next to that, I have a uh, Coyote double uh, M4 flapped mag pouch. Now, why do I have that? Uh, for since 2020 up until recently, 
I filled a leadership role um, heavily. Now I've I've taken a step back because I don't have time for it anymore. Uh, but I filled a leadership role with group that I run with uh, on and offs, uh, and I find myself needing to use a radio a lot. Which my personal preference is to put the radio in this mag pouch back here. Uh, I feel it fits there better for me. If you have a larger one, like a 152 or something like that, uh, you're going to need a, a different pouch because it won't fit into the slide ones. These work for like your Baofeng sized ones with a extended battery and the protector. They'll fit in there, no problem. But the 152 size ones, you got to put up here in your M4 pouch size. Uh, I have a an M better pouch, like a Ranger Green one, works perfectly fine for that. I'll swap that out if need be. If not, I'll take this mag and move it down here and stick a radio up in here, or I'll plus up. All right now, I have six mags on here. I'll put two more in there uh, if I feel the need to add on a little bit more ammo. And then, of course, I got a uh, one quarter canteen on my person. This is in addition to my uh, carried water on my pack. And then each of these pouches, I have a mini thick lighter, water purification tabs, small doodads like that. On the loadout side, or the uh, the ammo side, I have six standard P mags. I have Kydex in this end one here. I put my Kydex in another pouch somewhere, so I'm just using the standard retention on this far end. I do not like anything in these far pouches. I find it gets under my armpits uncomfortable. I don't like it, so I don't run anything in there. I keep them flat. On the back side, I have a map of my area. This is 150,000, uh, and then I will choose a 1 in 25 if I'm going to a specific area. I have protractors here. I always, excuse my chickens, I have protractors on this side. I always carry extras because I end up giving one away all the time. And then normally I have a VS-17 panel folded up and in this pocket. It's just, it's currently in my other rig at the moment. So this is my chest rig. As I've been using it for the last two, three years or so, and it's covered most everything that I've needed to do so far. So that being said, over the last year, I've went to belt kit. Uh, I'm in a very rural area now, and I find belt kit suits me a lot better, especially being out of a vehicle. Uh, I used to do a lot more vehicle stuff whenever I was playing around earlier. Uh, nowadays, not so much. I'm up in the mountains a lot more, so I find this belt kit works great. And... I am a Alice Pack fanatic at this point, or derivatives. Like my favorite pack right now is the Crossfire DG3. It sits perfectly above this butt pack, but I'll get into that in a second. So let's lay this out. The basis of this belt is the, uh, wait for that truck to go by. The basis of this belt is the Bay Systems uh, Padded War Belt. It has four points of retention or I'm sorry, four points of uh, attachment for an H harness. I'm using a standard Alice style H harness. I don't like Y harnesses. Uh, and then I just have tri-glides on the bottom and a little bit of tape and it works great. Uh, let me get this out the way. The mags go into these um, Fire Force gear pouches. These are their airborne pouches. Now, Fire Force has disappeared off the face of the planet. I have no idea what happened to them, but they are no longer around. So an alternative to these would be the Mayflower or the Velocity Systems Jungle Rig. Uh, I picked these up years ago and I've been using them since. They have Molly attachments, uh, single row on each side. So on both of them, on both sides of my rig, I attach a Molly flashbang pouch, and these are holding my training smokes, which all I did was wrap this in duct tape to waterproof it a little bit. These are the Nola Gays. They fit in there great. These will hold uh, tag in flashbangs, no problem, uh, whatever you want. IFAC, same thing as on my other one. I use the Army style IFAC, and this has medical card, insert, and a tourniquet inside of it. You'll notice to pair with that, 
I have tourniquet on my other side. But next to that, I have my uh, USMC issued bayonet, the OKC uh, K bar style. It works as a field knife, it works as stabby on the end of your gun. Yes, it, we're not doing bayonet charges anymore. Does that mean that I don't need to carry one? I don't give a shit, so I'm gonna carry one. Two Nalgene pouches, again, these are Fire Force. I got them about the same time. Uh, these hold the standard 32 quart. Each of these, I have a canteen cup at the bottom, and underneath the canteen cup, I have several packs of Aqua Tabs. Uh, for water purification and then in one of them I have a Bic lighter in the bottom I replace these with uh, regular um, Molly style or uh, is issued uh, canteen pouches every so often whenever I feel like it for the butt pouch I'm using a Philby uh, assault pouch uh, I don't like big butt packs this one is very small carries what I need in it uh, in there right on the top I got a poncho I got cleaning kit water filtration paracord VS 17 panel spare not uh, chore knife I use this for, so I, on small things I don't need to use my big knife for normally this is my pocket but whenever this is uh, Whenever I'm traveling, I keep it in here, and I use my regular everyday knife so I don't lose this. You know, I always have a spare ferro rod, uh, some food down in the bottom, bug, bug repellent because I live in fucking Alabama now, uh, more paracord, other stuff. Next to that, the, the Nalgene pouch, the tourniquet pouch. This is a... HSGI radio, small radio pouch. I use as an admin pouch on this. Uh, behind there, I have a tactical tail or single mag uh, pouch, which holds my speed mag. And then I have my three mag pouch in front of that. So I have seven on my rig total. Hey buddy, hold on a second. Uh, and then I have one more smoke up here. In my admin pouch, I carry a red light, white light, this sidewinder, right in the rain. Uh, this has my compass and pen and map stuff, mini protractor, all that. Multi-tool, and that's all that's in there right now. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, just a little short video on what I'm currently running. And, excuse my kid, but this has been serving me for the last year or so, this particular setup. And I find it, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Uh, to get what you want now Z, why aren't you running one of your mid J's well I had this longer than what I've had the mid J idea and I'm not just going to change it up just because I came up with something that's more affordable and what have you um, this has been working for me so far and it's eliminated the need for me to carry an assault pack I can carry everything I need for a few days in the crossfire and be happy so you guys have any questions comments concerns uh, go ahead and drop them in the comments, and I hope to see you next time.